this is the old motor that was on the cart and you'll notice if I stick the straight edge in the front of the motor it is almost even with the end of the motor as, as you can tell it's just a little bit it sticks out oh about an eighth of an inch more over the edge of the uh, motor and the winding as you can see is set back about a oh a half or three quarter of an inch from the end of the motor as again with the straight edge you can see how far back from from the end of the spline or the shaft we're looking at about oh, three quarters or a little less and then this being the new motor see the windings are almost at the very end as you put a straight edge on it the winding is almost touching so it's almost the windings are almost flush with the end and you can see how much the shaft sticks out this much further and also this one has the splines see the difference in the splines of this one the new one and this the old one see the difference in the splines so this this one right here that we're looking at now is the one that I'm needing with the a uh, higher number of valleys in the shaft and with this winding recess slightly from the end and the shaft almost flush with the end that is the only difference in these two motors. If we can overcome that, that is the one that I need.